Yo, what's up? It's Yo Rumi. So this is part four of the video tutorial series that is a complement of the guide to no code marketplaces that I just launched. So you can check out right here. I'm screen sharing uh, guides.everythingmarketplaces.com. This is assuming that you've downloaded the guide and checked it out. And this is just a video kind of tutorial where I walk through on a screen share on each section of the guide uh, and just do a deep dive. So this is part four, and this is gonna uh, cover bubble and using bubble for building your online marketplace using no code. Uh, and we're just gonna cover it in more detail. So uh, in one of the earlier parts, uh, you'll notice that, um, we'll just skip over to it. So I did uh, provide, I created this kind of like grid or like framework, um, which kind of basically covers some different, um, I would say some of the, you can see over here, some of the different considerations and like uh, decision-making factors um, when you're, trying to decide, you know, which of these platforms is ideal for uh, using to build your online marketplace using no code. So you'll see bubble right here. You'll see the marketplace types. It was left off on some. Now I do want to mention since this is a deep dive on bubble specifically that you can, of course it is possible to build some of these marketplace types using bubble. So for instance, you can build like a peer to peer or like an Airbnb style marketplace using bubble. But given that there's other probably like better suited platforms in some use cases, I did leave it out right here. But we're gonna cover and I'll show you some actual examples of like an Airbnb style marketplace using Bubble. Um, also to the functionality. So a lot of these have asterisks right here. And uh, that's kind of a similar kind of point that I wanted to make, which means that, um, you know, you can of course, yeah, even on Bubble, they have like templates that you can buy. Um, and so you can kind of use fully leverage bubble for building your marketplace, but some of the actual functionality you'll need to operate your marketplace, um, in some cases could potentially require some custom development and also potential uh, tool integrations. Um, also some of these within bubble, just the way that they kind of have their, uh, their platform set up, uh, some of these such as like user accounts, uh, management, listings and management, location, keyword search, um, those don't require, for instance, like third party integrations in, in all cases, they could simply just require extensive kind of customizations through the data tabs within your bubble kind of account. Um, and so that way they don't require like plugins or third party, but it is quite, um, it is a little bit more advanced. Uh, so uh, it could require actual kind of development um, skills, uh, which might not be something that you have. So I do want to mention that um, just because as we kind of review some of these other examples for Bubble, uh, they are quite extensively kind of customized in, uh, in with not just like cus uh, custom configurations through Bubble, but also using actual coding. So we'll just kind of jump back over here to the actual guide since we're on page 18 right now, just talking about Bubble. But basically Bubble is going to be ideal for connecting uh, business to consumers directly through their platform. Um, so that's like business offering uh, services to consumers through a marketplace. So in, in my opinion, and just through all my research and talking to others, it's not going to be the best suited for a true peer to peer, whereas ShareTribe might have an edge for that. Of course it is possible, as I mentioned. Um, you know, also too, it's not for something that's managed that doesn't, re it requires the best, you know, user experience and interface, but doesn't require a lot of like actual like backend functionality or core functionality, then kind of Webflow might have an edge. So I kind of position it in the middle for like B2C marketplaces. Um, so what are some of the options of building with Bubble? As I kind of mentioned uh, earlier, you can actually, one of the big benefits of Bubble is that they do have a great kind of ecosystem and existing like templates and some uh, some different plugins and what and whatnot. So um, unlike some of the, you know, some of the other kind of platforms or tools that are out there, uh, you have like a great kind of starting point. So I'm actually just gonna screen share over here. I'm gonna jump over to the Bubble site. So you can see like bubble.io slash templates. They actually have these uh, like say for instance, home rentals marketplace templates. They have like another, just like a blank kind of like canvas rental marketplace, like a full marketplace, just from different um, kind of like agencies or developers right here that have offered their templates. So this could be a great starting point um, if you're looking to just quickly, or first off, if you're uh, familiar with Bubble and, and how to use it as a platform, um, but then if you're, if you are, and you're saying, Hey, maybe I want to, you know, create this kind of marketplace, then you can simply just reference some of their templates and that could be a great starting point. Now I do want to mention also that just something else is, you know, not only just building like a, like a, like an MVP that looks great. Um, but from like an operational side, uh, you know, bubble, uh, you're going to have to create a, a lot of your own, uh, specific workflows within your, your bubble account. 
And then you're also going to have to create like your admin and a lot of your operational requirements through that kind of dashboard. Whereas like a share tribe, um, another reason like a peer to peer marketplace, it might kind of have a little edge is that they have those kind of admin panels with all the, uh, the typical requirements already kind of pre-built so you can leverage that. So that's just another mention um, when looking to build a marketplace or bubble. So we'll just kind of go down. Uh, so you can see right here some examples. Um, there's Unibo, and then we have Resident Street, and then Yard Guru, and then of course you have that like full uh, kind of directory directory that I created, which uh, identifies others and also their tool integrations. But let's just jump over to one, um, probably one of the uh, popular ones that I think you know, in, in my opinion, looks pretty pretty good. Um, is Resident Street. So this is a marketplace right here. You can see like rent a private home or bedroom for. Um, for one to 11 months. So it's like a little bit more kind of like short to midterm kind of like rental marketplace. Uh, so this is a bubble uh, based marketplace. You can see they have some like kind of like feature lift listings right here. Looks like in like a pretty populated area. Um, you can kind of go down. This is like a pretty, pretty good design. So this is a really good example of a bubble marketplace. So we'll just go over here and just kind of click through very quickly. So you can see just kind of similar to ShareTribe, how ShareTribe uh, utilizes like a homepage and then like a kind of like a map, like a main listings, um, kind of like a, a view that's also with a, a map um, on their ShareTribe Flux. This is kind of like a similar kind of layout right here where we have all of our listings. So this is just a really good example of a, once again, a marketplace um, for spaces that was built using Bubble. Now, another example that I mentioned uh, is gonna be this um, Yard Guru right here which looks like uh, they're trying to capture right here, like a legion, uh, but basically um, for services. So you can see like services right here. Uh, and then they just have a right here, some of these, it looks like a, probably like a kind of like a quoting and whatnot. But this is just another example of a bubble based marketplace. So this look once again, looks like a B2C marketplace, which will kind of fit within that kind of framework that I had mentioned kind of within the guide. So uh, the bubble section is kind of brief. Um, I'm definitely going to update the guide to expand on it a little bit more. Uh, if you're looking to see some other examples of it, um, you can check out this kind of like directory that I created here. And I'll actually cover in uh, a later kind of part of this video tutorial series. And then also, too, this is just like a kind of I didn't create like a, you know, like a, a decision framework for bubble since they don't have since they have one kind of primary offering. And then, of course, different templates and whatnot. Um, but yeah, you can kind of reference the previous part of this video tutorial series if you want to see how Bubble fits within that kind of decision making framework uh, for your specific marketplace um, type uh, and then some of the requirements that you might have for your marketplace. So hopefully you found this, uh, this video uh, tutorial helpful. Um, this is going to be one of the shorter kind of parts of the uh, tutorials, but uh, you can check out the other uh, parts that I'll post here shortly. Thanks.